Hi, my name is Dr. Ginger Sturgeon, and I am the head veterinarian and director of animal health here at your Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. And this is Libby, she is our head veterinary technician. And we wanted to let you guys know that even though we are closed to the public, um, we are still taking care of your animals um, when it's safe for us to do so. Um, so here is Lynn, one of our clouded leopard cubs. Now Lynn is just turned 16 weeks old, so four months old. And just like your dogs and cats at home, they need their puppy and kitten vaccinations. And now that Lynn is four months old, um, he will not only get his feline virus combo vaccines, but also a vaccine for canine distemper, as our clouded leopards are um, susceptible to that disease. And then um, his first rabies vaccine. So it's kind of a big day for Lynn. Um, we're going to start off by just doing a routine physical exam. Um, these guys have been healthy, even though we had to hand rear them. They've been doing great, but I just kind of want to keep tabs to make sure everything is looking good. Take a look at Lynn's eyes, make sure his people are responsive. I know nobody likes a bright light in their eye. And we'll do a quick open and see all those giant chompers. And again, those are little kitten teeth. And then nicely, nice pink gums. And a quick palpation to make sure that there's no enlarged lymph nodes. As you can see, Lynn is very young and active and healthy. And pretty soon, we will not be able to do this type of exam um, with Lynn as he continues to get. They still have their kitten bellies. Great. And take a listen. So a heart rate of 180, which is not unexpected given he's pretty excited right now, but no murmurs or no rhythm disturbances. Take a listen to his lungs, and he's sniffing right now, so I hear a lot of that sound. Hi. And then the other side of the lungs. What a good boy. Great, and you can see their enormous feet compared to their body size. And then um, still have kind of the smaller claws, but he'll grow in a big set soon enough. This first vaccine, we do vaccines in the muscle for our non-domestic animals. All right, this is Lynn's brother, Gail, also um, 16 weeks old right now. So he's gonna get the same kind of stuff. A physical exam, listen to his heart and lungs, and um, he has always been a snuggler. <laughs> And then um, get his vaccinations, which obviously will um, restrain him a little bit more than, um, and then just a little snuggle fest, right? All right, here we go. Go see Lynn. And again, I'm looking more at just the cornea and that front chamber of their eye, not a thorough, obviously octo exam making sure that pupil is responsive <laughs> and that's a natural um, reaction is to pull away from the light. Hi. Clear pink nose, pink mucous membranes, we're going to smile. And nice big teeth. Hi. And go ahead and feel for those lymph nodes, making sure nothing's enlarged or feels abnormal. And all the while we're doing this, Libby and I are also assessing um, their ambulation. Do they move around okay? Um, how does their skin look? How does their hair coat look? Um, are they using their tail appropriately? Um, are they investigating us appropriately? Okay. All right. How did you get that to look? And then we can listen.
160 yards sounds good. And actually, let me listen to this. Lungs. He looks good. I think part of the, um, sometimes the hardest part of our job is just working with the animals so that we try as minimal as restraint as possible, um, but to still be able to get everything done that we need to do. So um, Gail looks phenomenal. You can see he's grown in his nice long tail um, that he'll use for balance as they are an arboreal species and are often up in the trees. Um, and now we're going to do the exciting part again and go ahead and give him his vaccination so that we can protect him against a variety of infectious diseases. I'm going to go ahead and get ready first. Two more. We use a modified December vaccine, so the ones that they could use in could actually give pelvic leopards the disease, so we don't want that. And now for the feline combo vaccine. Again, we use a killed product um, for our non-domestic felids, again, preventing um, from giving them the disease. There we go. Very exciting time. I'm the back leg. <laughs> They have now had multiple doses of that feline combo and the Pyrvax December vaccine. And so just like any time that you have multiple vaccinations that you've already received, we want to monitor them, make sure that there's no reaction um, to the vaccine. Most commonly in our zoo animals, as well as in domestic animals, you'll see anaphylactic type of reactions if they're going to occur within about half an hour. So we'll keep a pretty close eye on these guys. Um, <laughs> they are being super naughty right now. <laughs> Um, to make sure that they're doing um, okay. They could become a little bit lethargic or inappetence over the next um, two days. We don't really see that a lot in our non-domestic animals, um, but their keeper will monitor for it very closely. Thank you.